Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and these are the market positions for December the 19th, 2017. Now once again we're coming to uh, a close for the 2017 year end so we're going to be really limiting our trades here uh, going into the remainder of uh, 2017 so we don't want to get too aggressive with our positions. Now I will remind everybody about the exciting new uh, live training room that will be starting on January the 2nd, 2017. I would certainly encourage everybody to uh, contact Market Technologies directly to see if this uh, would be of interest to you. Now, when we look at this right now with the British pound, New Zealand dollar, our first trade for tonight, a very interesting setup indeed here. We've got support forming here at, the, <coughs> excuse me, at the 190 area. Now, again, in my respectful opinion, the British pound is grossly undervalued across the board uh, against a number of different currencies, particularly against the US dollar. Now, uh, we do have a fresh triple EMA cross from about a week ago, but these crosses are not lasting that long. And a lot of it is being driven fear mongering uh, because of Brexit. And again, I voiced my opinion. Brexit is absolutely a good thing for the UK. Not everybody's going to agree with that, but that's fine. That's what makes a market. Now, looking at these, the current signal, uh, our strength indicator is starting to rise. Our neural index is down, but we've had a pretty big sell-off here, guys, uh, from 198 all the way down to the 190s. So essentially, uh, this is a big move that's, a, that's occurred over a relatively short period of time. This signal here that we're looking at from vantage point, the medium term crossing over the long term predicted difference in the opposite direction in which the market's moving. We're moving back up out of the oversold territory. So this appears to be, we could have a short term bottom in place potentially at the 190 area. Now, when we look at our short term crossover from vantage point, we can also see that it's starting to turn back to the upside with a lot of activity around this 190, 123 area. And we have managed to close just above that key vantage point two day predicted moving average. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, at the 190, 127. So looking at this, Long trades here carry very high risk, to be clear. So this trade is not for everybody, but I think that, again, that we could have a bottom formed here. So for tomorrow or tonight, depending when you're trading this, we have a close of 191.27. We're looking for a pullback to the vantage point predicted low of the day at 190.30. We then target all the way up to 192.30. So looking at this, guys, uh, once again, if we bring up our vantage point predicted high and predicted low, we can see that it's been quite accurate, not so much on the top side the last few days, but vantage point's been pretty good at calling these downward bottoms uh, for the last several days, despite a very strong move to the downside. But again, when we look at all of this, clearly this is been driven by fear mongering around that Brexit. So we don't need a huge stop here, guys. Our stop, we should have our stop sitting about 189.60, only about uh, a 70 or 80 pip stop loss. But again, the cross pairs are very, very volatile. So we don't want to stay in this trade for any, lo any longer than about a, you know, a less than 1% risk here because of that. But if this is a bottom and we hold down around this 190, 30, 190 level, then that could represent some very, very strong upside opportunity for us. Now that's our first trade for tonight. Now our second trade for tonight is going to be in the U.S. consumer non-cyclical sector. We're looking at the Sun Opta, the STKL stock. Now what we have again is a fresh triple EMA cross to the upside about three or four days old which I'll highlight right here. Our three-day crossing over our eight-day and our 18-day predicted moving average. Excuse me here. I'll just clear that off so everybody can see. With our clear, clear pivot area at 786. So we're holding above that. We've closed at 805. Not a really powerful close here, but it's still doing pretty good. Down a bit on the day. But what we can assess is that our neural index remains to the upside. Our predicted short, medium, and long-term differences are all above the zero line, saying that this is trending with our our uh, strength indicator, excuse me, also above that area. Now our predicted RSI 69.4, still not doing too bad here, but again, if we can break through this uh, channel area of resistance, 
which I'm going to draw in. That's coming in around 850 or so. We've got heavy support, trend line support actually sitting down around 770. So not a bad looking trade when we when we look at it closer. Now our short term crossover remains to the upside. Medium term looks excellent and our long term still looks quite good. So we're looking for this to extend higher. Now after we've done all of our checks then and only then do we go into the all-important daily report from vantage point to fine-tune our entry for our next trading day so with that close of 805 for tomorrow we're looking for a very minor pullback to 793 we're then going to target 815. now once again if we can push through this this area up here this high you can see our high for today uh, which is coming in at about uh, 825 if we can continue to push through this area we should be able to start moving back towards this 950 per share where we were just two months ago less than less than two months ago looking at the longer term outlook at this again all the way up in this 950 per share mark but we've seemed to have found pretty strong support down here between 7 and 750 per share so all stops guys need to be below that area so with that said, these are the market positions for December the 19th, 2017.